showtime. Woo! 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 When I grow up, I want to stick my head through a circle at the beginning of movies and roar. <laughs> What's up now, bitches? Welcome to the Mafia Sports Report. I'm your host, Tommy. And today I'm going to be doing my second mock draft. Um, I already did one last week. As you guys know, we are going to be doing these uh, every week up until the NFL draft. And Mikey's going to be doing his as well, I believe, today. And I will have his uploaded uh, either today or tomorrow. So, as you guys know, Team Tommy. And then you got Team Mikey. So, you guys, you know, write in the comments. Send us a comment. Tell, you, tell us who you like, um, what drafts you like the best. Um, I thought my first draft went pretty well. I wasn't overly pleased, but I had a good grade on it. Um, Mikey did pretty well. A lot of you guys like Mikey's draft as well. Um, I know a lot of Bills Mafia wants the Bills to take a tackle in the first round. I just don't think that's going to happen, guys. Um, I think Brandon Bean is sold on or believes in Spencer Brown. I am with Brandon Bean on this one. I think that Spencer Brown deserves at least another season to prove himself. Listen, if Spencer Brown can't get it right this season, he gets beat out in camp or he's just looking sluggish again um, during the season, then, yeah, you know, it is time to move on from Spencer Brown and go ahead and, and you know, and, and draft a future right tackle. But right now I just don't see that happening. Now I'm not saying they're, gonna, they're not going to draft a tackle in this draft. I just don't see them drafting one early on um, with their first, you know, in the first couple rounds. That's just my opinion. Um, so anyways, by the way, guys, too, we're going to be doing these live um, two weeks before the actual NFL draft, which I believe is on the 27th. Um, so we're going to be doing one on the 14th. I'm going to try to have some guests on there. And then the very next uh, week on Friday, we're going to be doing one with the chat where you guys make the selections. Um, and we're going to pretty much stay out of it. So, and, and see how you guys do, um, you know, the people in the chat. So let's go ahead and start this thing. Um, here we go. Start draft. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to zoom up to see who, who went early on. I won't, I won't, uh, kill you guys with that, but, uh, pick one Carolina from Chicago. They went with quarterback Bryce Young. We all know the first two picks are probably going to be quarterbacks because both teams are in desperate need of quarterbacks. So Bryce Young out of Alabama went to uh, the Panthers, which makes sense. C.J. Stroud from Ohio State went to the Texans. Once again, makes sense. Uh, the Colts drafted Anthony Richardson out of Florida. Once again, makes sense. The Colts have been in dire need of a quarterback. They've been, you know, they've been getting older free agents uh, for the past, what, you know, two, three seasons, and it's time for them to go young uh, and, and, you know, get hopefully for them a franchise quarterback, and maybe that's that's the answer. Anyway, so let's get to our pick, 27th, and let's see who's available. By the way, can't pause and trade the draft because we're already here at the second pick. So there's your tackle that you guys probably would want me to take, Anton Harrison, out of Oklahoma. I am not going to probably do that, <laughs> just to piss, just to piss you guys off. Josh Downs out of North Carolina. Another tackle, Dewan Jones out of Ohio State. Obviously, a quarterback we're not going to be taking. An edge. So right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm in a bad spot here. I, I'm not seeing. Whew, man, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Anton Harrison probably would be my best, uh, my best pick right here because there's just not. Uh, man, a lot of these guys that you could, are probably second round guys after some of these guys that were there on the board there. And I would be reaching. Now, here's a linebacker that we desperately need. But once again, uh, Henley, I'd be kind of reaching on him just to grab a linebacker. There's Jack Campbell, who I really like. And if I go ahead and draft him now, 
I'm going to probably get a bad, um, probably get a bad grade on it. Man, I don't know. Let me, let me take a handle these overall stats here. So he's six foot two, 225. Um, wins between the tackles. We'll take on a linebacker size. Uh, it's kind of linebacker that excels with a free runaway to ball carriers. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I I like I like Jack Campbell, man. I just I, I like his size. Um six foot five. I'm a big dude, man. Um he has speed, you know, middle linebacker, which is exactly what we need. Um yeah, I mean, good really good run defender. His ability to stack and shed and continually gr gain ground on ball carries is what the high end linebackers look at the next level. So it's definitely what we need um, as you know for a middle linebacker. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and draft Jack Campbell. In hindsight, I probably should have traded down if they allowed me to. I would have traded down. Um, and maybe hopefully he was there in the second round for me to pick up. But right now, I just I don't want to draft a tackle. I just don't think, um, you know, we need one this early. I just don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Campbell. I know that I'm reaching a little bit here. I probably should have traded down earlier, but I didn't. I was I was I was hoping other players would be there. I'll be honest with you, um, and and they just weren't. So, um, all right. So let's see who's available here. So with the 59th overall pick, second round, obviously we're not going to go quarterback. Um, Daniel Dell is there, wide receiver out of Houston. <sighs> See, I like this guy right here, Luke Weipler. Um, he could be our future center. Um, you guys know Mitch Morse um, is probably playing on his last year. You know, many, many concussions. Um, not only the concussions, but he just hasn't played um, at a high level like he, you know, he did when he first got to Buffalo. You can kind of see him, you know, he's in the middle of the pack right now as far as centers, and, and we're paying him a pretty good penny. Um, and if we did draft Luke Weipler, I, I would really wonder if they would cut um, Mitch Morse and save some money. I don't think that would happen, but I'm going to go ahead and draft – Luke Weipler because he could be our future center. Um, and he's a hell of a center guys. That's all he plays. Um, and he would go right, right to that position. Um, all right. So round three, we're pick 91. So we have gone with, uh, defense first round linebacker, which we def definitely need middle linebacker. Um, and then we went offense in the second round with the center. So right now, let's see who's available. Obviously, once again, no quarterback. Garrett Williams, I like out of Syracuse for a cornerback. I don't think that's a bad pick. Dane Jackson came back um, only one one year. Um, this could be his replacement, um, and and I really think that um, I think that Benford is going to probably move to safety. If I had to guess. So we would need that 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 corner. That would be a good pick, um, in my opinion. And it looks like really he should have been maybe late second round, mid second round. So he kind of dropped a little bit there. Uh, you got Carl Brooks out of Bowling Green Edge. Really good edge. I like him a lot, by the way. Um, Travius Hodges Thomas in a corner out of TCU, solid corner. Uh, James Robinson safety. I don't think we need a safety right now, especially if we're going to move Benford to safety. And, and then you still got the Hamlin situation going on. If maybe Hamlin returns as well, so right now I think we will be good at safety with the younger guys that we have coming up. Uh, here's some running backs: Tank Bigsby. See, I want I like Moro Ajamo a lot, defensive tackle. Um, but out of all these guys right here that I'm seeing early on. I like Garrett Williams the best here. I think that would be a, a you know a good pickup. Um, let's see if they say anything about him. So five foot ten, you know, fairly tall. He's not super tall, but he's not really a short corner either. 
Um, good feet, wins with his feet. Um, outside corner, he played enough off zone in his career to get by, but he really shines in man coverage, which, as you guys know, that's not really our style of defense. However, uh, maybe with McDermott taking over, we'll be a little bit more aggressive and play a little bit more man instead of you know always playing that zone type of defense that Frazier was in. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna go with Garrett Williams. I think he's a solid corner. Um, he dropped a little here, and I think I think uh, that's a win for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and draft Garrett Williams. All right, let's see what we got here going on. Round four. So round four, we have the 130th pick. So <clears throat> we went with defense, offense, then defense again so far. Uh, Yasir Abdullah uh, out of Louisville is an edge rusher. I like him as well. I'm not crazy about him, but he's a, he's a solid football player. Um, you got another edge. Ronnie Hickman is, man. I know I was just talking about safeties. We got some young guys, but he's a solid safety. I like him a lot out of Ohio State. That would be an interesting pickup, but I believe in the guys we have. So let me, let, let's go to – I'm going to look at some of the receivers here because as of right now, we're probably not trading anybody. I told you guys, but Brandon Bean just does not trade for players often. I would love DeAndre Hopkins, but that has quieted down big time. And it just it's it's looking more and more like uh, that it's just not going to happen. We're not going to trade for anyone. So let's take a look at some of the receivers in this draft that's available right now. Jalen Morano Cropper out of uh, Fresno State. Let's take a look at his stats here. Uh, five foot eleven. They don't, they're not giving me much. Um, yeah, they're not giving me much on him. But five foot eleven, so he's not he's not a short receiver. But he's also not very tall either. And then everybody else I'd be kind of reaching here for Bryce Ford Wheaton. Uh, you know, Xavier Hutchinson out of a Iowa State. He's not bad either. But once again, I, I think it's something that we don't need right here. Once again, maybe this is a, a round where I would have traded out of. Um, so I'm gonna go that go ahead and go edge here. He's our best, the best on the board. Yasir Abdullah out of Louisville edge. Why not add another edge rusher? um to the mix um von miller probably if i had a guess i mean right now they said he could be back week one but they also said that about trey white so i'm gonna say week four uh probably for von miller okay you know you guys know how acls go so um you know gregor rousseau is, is still you know trending up but he's still not there yet um we're probably not going to re-sign shaq lawson from what I could tell Shaq Lawson seems like maybe he wants a little bit more money than, than Brandon beans willing to offer. Um, so it'd be good to get another young guy in here and listen, Von Miller is only going to be here so long. I know it's a six year deal, but probably will only be here three years. So why not get another young pass rusher? Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and draft. Yes. Here round four. I'm not crazy so far about my mock draft. I'm going to be, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, Pick 137, round five. So here we go. Round five. Let's see who's on the board. We got another edge. We just drafted an edge. I'm not going to do the Brandon Bean thing when we go back-to-back -back edge. <laughs> Ronnie Hickman's still available. Um, Man, killing me because I was just saying we have some young dudes, and I really like them. Uh, there's there's Cropper again. Uh, you got a running back, Sean Tucker, which I don't think – you know, listen, if they're going to draft a running back, which I, I – you know, listen – Round one there, there was guys off the board that I really was thinking about taking. Um, I would have, listen, if B. John's there, B. John Robinson, I definitely would take him. Um, obviously, you guys know about how I feel about Osiris Torrance. If he was there, I would have probably drafted him as well. You know, I would have been torn between those two, but neither one were there. So um, I went with the next best thing, which is the linebacker, which we really need, middle linebacker. But I probably would have traded down. Um, if I knew that was going to play out like that, but this, this is how mock drafts work. Um, yeah, I'm just, man, I'm not crazy. I like Yaya, Yaya, Yaya Diaby. He's pretty good edge, but I just drafted an edge. So here's a tight end, Davis Allen. He's not bad, but I have a tight end and uh, that I'm thinking about out of Miami that I really like that we can get late. 
though he's climbing uh, Mallory, he's climbing in the uh, latest draft polls or whatever. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I know I just talked about the safeties, but Ronnie Hickman's still sitting here. I got to take him, man. He's a uh, man. This is not gone now how I want it to go. This, this mock draft. So we're on our last uh, last pick here, round six coming up. We don't have a round seven. Um, but if I were to do this over, I definitely, you know, knowing what I know now, I would have traded back down with a team. I would have tried to get um, Campbell in the second round and got an extra pick later in the draft. But, it's, you know, it is what it is. So here's our last pick, pick 205, round six. So right here is just basically best on the board, in my opinion. Uh, Adrian O'Connell, quarterback, probably not going to take him. You got Eric Gray out of Oklahoma. Um, I mean, you, you could draft another running back to compete with some of these guys, but I don't, I don't think at that time they're going to. Um, Jake Andrews. Like I said, if you're going to draft a running back, do it early. Get your guy. If Bijan's there, get him. If not, I want it. You just signed. Um, you know, you, you got you got Cook, who's your last last year's draft pick, right, round second. You got uh, uh, Hines still coming back, uh, and then you got uh, the guy we just signed from New England. So, yeah, man. Um, I just don't see us drafting a running back late. I, mean, I just want to make sense, but I could be wrong. All right, guys. Here. Man, geez, I'm not. So you got a tackle. See, ugh. we could go tackle here, let them compete. I already drafted the center, so that's not happening. So I'll tell you what. Last pick here to make all you happy in the uh, – <laughs> that's going to be watches this. I'm going to go ahead and get Asim Richards out of North Carolina. Um, let's see what he does. Maybe he competes well and, 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 and makes you guys happy and takes Spencer Brown's uh, job here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, draft him. And that will complete the uh, mock draft here. Let's see. I'm very curious what PFF uh, grades this draft. I'm not happy about it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy with my uh, my mock draft here. But this is the way it works. I should have drafted. I should have drafted down. So Jack Campbell, they gave me a D plus. Uh, Luke Weipler, they gave me a B plus. Garrett Williams, they gave me an A plus. I told you guys I was I was happy with that selection when he was sitting there. Uh, in round three, uh, Yasir uh, Abdullah, they gave me a C uh, in round four. Ronnie Hickman, I told you that was, you know, I, I couldn't let him slip, man. A minus, that's, that's solid. And then they gave me a C plus for a Seam Richard, so that's not bad at all uh, for round six. Uh, overall, I got a B plus. So B plus, not bad. I mean, listen, I was expecting worse. I was expecting them to give me like a C. Um you know, if I could do it over again, once again, I would have got out of that round one there. If I knew, you know, my guys weren't going to be on the board, I would have traded down and try to pick up Jack Campbell somewhere in the second. Hopefully he would have been there. And I still hopefully would have been able to get Luke Weipler because I, I really like him, um, you know, and I think he could be our, you know, you know, our center for years to come. If we were to draft him um, once, um, once Morse retires. So, you know, and I do like the Garrett Williams, uh, the corner. I do, man. So, yeah, not a terrible. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not a terrible draft, but I'm definitely, it's not my best draft either. So, guys, uh, tell me what you guys think, uh, how I did in this mock draft. Um, just put Team Tommy in the comments if you like it. Um, just tell me how you, how you think I did overall. Uh, Mikey's going to be doing his later. So, guys, until uh, next week, you will see me next week on Friday at 8.30 live, Friday Night Lights, and look for Mikey's um, mock draft as well, either today or tomorrow. So, anyways, guys, Bills Mafia, I love you. Go Bills. I'm out. Peace. And look at it go. He could go all the way. Touchdown. 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 The bills make me want to kick your heels up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Throw your head back and shout. But come on now. The bills are making it happen now. Stand up now. Come on and shout.